Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we will try to see how to set up default roles in GRC access control. Generally, whenever the user is created in the system, we do assign some of the default roles like general display access roles, which includes SU53, etc. These roles need to be automatically assigned to the user upon creation. In that case, we can configure default roles in GRC access control so that whenever we raise a GRC request, these roles will be auto provisioned to the user account. In this video, let us see the steps in detail to configure this default roles in GRC access control. Let us first have a look on the parameters what need to be set to enable this default role setup in the GRC system. These parameters majorly include from 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013 as well as 2038. The parameter 2009 will tell the system whether the default role should be added to the access request or not. The parameter 2010 will specify in which type of request you want to add the default roles. Like you can select a new account request or change account request or lock account etc. But in the ideal case it should be only the new account. Because when we are creating the new account then only it will be meaningful to assign this default roles. Parameter 2011 will specify at what level this default roles can be given. It might be either a request level or the role level. The preferred setting here also will be at the request level. So the parameter 2012 and 2013 also specify the role and request attributes uh, at which level you want to add this default roles. Example like if you can add these roles at company level, you can choose company. If you want to add at business process level or you want to add at the system level or at the landscape level, etc. And along with this, the one more important parameter is 2038. 2038 is a parameter which tells the system to auto approve the role if there is no role owner present. So this is very useful if you want to I automatically assign the roles to the user when there is no role owner especially like this uh, display roles. To configure these parameters we need to go to SPRO, IMG customizing, go to governance risk and compliance, access control, maintain configuration settings. In this you can find the parameters for access request default roles. If the parameter already exists, you can change the values accordingly. If suppose the parameter does not exist, click on new entries and add these parameters. As an example in the screen, you can see that the parameter 2038 is set to yes, which indicates the auto approve provision is enabled when the role owner is not present. The parameter 2009 is set as yes where the system can consider the default roles. The parameter 2010 is set as 001, which indicates it is a new account request. Parameter 2011 is set as a request, so the default roles will be assigned at the request level. So when we are assigning the default role at the request level, what is the attribute we need to consider? That is given by the parameter 2013 which indicates it is a system level. Now in this step, uh, we will provide the default roles which need to be assigned to the user in NWBC. For this purpose, we need to go to NWBC T code. In that, we will click on access management. Under role management, there is an option called default roles. So when we click on it, a new window will be pop up where we can give the default roles. Now click on the option create. Here you need to select the attribute as well as the attribute value. Ensure that 
the attribute should be the same what we have selected in the configuration parameters 2012 and 2013. If the attribute differs, the default roles will not work. So in our example, we have selected the default roles at request level and in the request attributes, we have selected system. So that is the reason here while adding the default roles, I am using attribute as a system. Uh, once I selected the attribute as a system, then you can select the values of that, which system I need to add. Once you are done with the selection of attribute and attribute value, the next one is to add the roles. So you can click on the add button and you can add the roles which you want to be assigned. After completion of the default roles, it just displays like this as shown in the screen. So the attribute is a system in which system you need to add and what roles you need to add it. Now we are done with the configuration parameter setting as well as uh, selecting the default roles which need to be assigned in the NWBC. Let us now look on how can I use this default roles while writing an access request. In our example, we have selected to assign this default roles only for the new request. That is what we have done in the configuration parameters. So in the NWBC, when you create an access request, you need to select the option as a new account access request. That is first condition. The second condition, we have chosen parameter as system as a request attribute in the configuration parameter. It means that in your access request, if you add the system, then only based on the system, the default roles will be added. So we need to ensure that in our new account access request, we need to add the system. In case if we do not add the system, please make a note that the default roles will not be added. And after adding the system also, you will not be able to see that default roles in the access request immediately. Upon submission of the request, the system pulls the default roles and will be added to the access request. Now this request directs to the line manager for approval and once the manager approved it, the default roles are auto provisioned to the user account in the backend system. Uh, this is how the concept of default roles work in GRC. At a glance, to set up the default roles in GRC, the majorly we are required to set up the configuration parameters and assign the default roles to the system or the attribute whatever we select in the NWBC. For more videos on GRC security, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.